Welcome children. Today we have got the chemistry class on Pathfinder Institute and welcome all of you to the class. Class 10s have got a lot of topics in chemistry. So let us pick up one topic from there which is quite important and that is chemical bonding. Chemical bonding, the word itself speaks a little bit about chemistry related with some bonding. Well, in bonding, we understand the bond between the friends, the bond with our relatives, with our parents. Today, we are going to see how bonding can also take place between two microscopic atoms or between atoms with molecule. Well, in chemical bonding, the first important point is about a attraction. A force of attraction that holds the two atoms together to form molecules or compounds. Class 10, we get introduced to three different types of bonding, ionic, covalent and coordinate. Out of which the ionic bonding, I would like to pick that up as a very simple example. Uh, let's take for example, you and your best friend, you usually have your tiffin together, right? Now, one good day, your mother has given you some simple bread and butter and your friend on the other hand has got some uh, good, let's say, uh, Chinese food. Now, being your best friend, your friend gives a part of his food to you. Now, you are not giving your bread and butter to him. So, on that particular day, you have your tiffin. You also take the extra food from your friend. So, if I consider the food to be the electron, then you are here being treated as the non-metal and your friend is the metal. So, metals are elements where electron transfer takes place, they donate electrons. Non-metals on the other hand accepts electrons and so from a metal the electron gets transferred completely to a non-metal. So as your friend has already given his share of food to you, your friend has eaten less food. So in terms of chemistry, your friend has become positively charged and you have become on that particular day negatively charged particle. So your friend becomes cation, you become the anion and so the force of attraction that is present between two oppositely charged particle that is known as ionic bonding and the compound formed is called the ionic compound. Usually children this was just an introduction. Now I'll just show you uh, one example to understand what you should do and how you must do the diagram. So let us come to one of the important example we pick up from the scope we have for the ICAC and that is taking magnesium oxide. In magnesium oxide, magnesium is the metal and oxygen is the non-metal. So let's see here, first you have to make the symbol for the metal that is Mg for magnesium. Magnesium has an electronic configuration of 2, 8, 2 because its atomic number is 12. So the last shell contains 2 electrons. Coming to oxygen, oxygen has got a configuration of 2, 6. So the valence shell contains 6 electron. So magnesium
for metal and oxygen being the non-metal, you must show the electrons with different representation. So, both of them are not stable. That's because both do not have 8 electrons in the valence shell. As a result, magnesium will transfer both its electron to oxygen. Thereby, magnesium is going to form the cation Mg2 plus and oxygen with its 6 original electron and taking 2 more electrons from magnesium becomes the anion. So, thereby you get the formation of magnesium oxide. Very simple, isn't it? Thank you. Dear children, let us discuss one of the question from the chapter of chemical bonding. In bonding, many of you make a mistake regarding the placement of the electrons around the atom, the count of electrons and showing of the ions correctly. In fact, let us pick up one example from the ionic bonding in terms of potassium or let us say uh, make it a little bit of change, we will do it with magnesium chloride. Now in magnesium chloride, magnesium is the atom who belongs to the group 2 of the periodic table which is having 2 valence electrons and to give away these 2 valence electrons you require 2 atoms of chlorine because chlorine each atom has got 7 electrons in its valence shell. So magnesium donates one electron each to the chlorine atom and thereby magnesium becomes positively charged with a valency of 2 plus and for chlorine you have to show the 7 valence electrons, the new electron that comes and makes it an anion. Since two such anions are formed, we write a 2 in front of it. Now, how is your marking done? For step 1, you are awarded 1 mark. So, what are the points you should look after? Number 1, writing down the symbol of the element with the correct count of valence electron and most importantly to show the arrowhead from the metal to the non-metal with the transfer of electron. And finally, you are going to show the formation of the two correct ions and that makes your next one mark. So, this is how the marks are distributed for your ICC. And if you want to show for example with covalent bonding, I will pick up a simple example of a molecule, let us say for methane. Now, methane has a formula of CH4. The mistake that you all make is not always in the count of valence electron, but you show the atoms correctly, you show their valence electrons also correctly, but some of you make a mistake of showing the transfer of electron. Well, in a covalent bonding, there is no electron transfer. So, you have to show this mutual sharing of electron between the carbon and the hydrogen and this leads to the formation of four single covalent bond. So, this is all that is important for you to get your full marks in ICC. Thank you.